Students, now let me give you a generalized logistic network model, uh, which is related to warehouse. Normally, how would we calculate the uh, warehousing operating cost? So the standardized formula would be 20 into the storage rate. 20 would be a factor that is used for the space. Multiply by the demand raised to the power 0 0.6. So that means whatever is the demand you are accommodating at least 60% of that demand plus the handling rate into the demand. So that would be a generic model or a formula for warehouse operating cost. So in any warehouse, we can implement it. What you require, you require your storage rate, which is a variable, the demand which you have and 60% of that demand should be incorporated or provided by that warehouse the handling rate how would you handle your material multiply by the demand of course the demand rate now if i want to put it into some generalized logistic network model it can be formalized like this i need to minimize z z being the cost let's say so what type of costs I can have? I can have the vendor establishment cost. Supplier ki cost aapke paas kitni hai, usko establish karne ki, yani uske saath jo relationship hai, uski cost kitni hai, plus the plant fixed cost, plus the purchase cost for raw material or the component, plus the plant production cost, plus plant inventory cost, the warehousing inventory cost, inventory transit cost, transit inventory, mejo inventory aapki in transit house ki cost, your transportation cost, plus local pickup or delivery cost, plus your warehouse handling cost. Ye sari ki sari wo cost hai, jo kisi bhi business se relate kar sakti hai, aapke warehouse mein, aapki total overall ek logistics mein, usko incorporate kiya ja sakta hai. Yani, aapki warehouse handling cost, jaha par bhi, jiske paas bhi maujood hai, usme, it would be a part of it. There would be a purchase cost for your raw material or components. There would be a production cost. There would be a plant inventory cost. So, these are the generic costs, which are actually a part of the cost function. Cost function, is tarah ka cost function, complexity create nahi karta. Generic models can be used, generic logistical models can be used for such type of cost functions. As a cost functions may, there is no issue. Then, what are the constraints? If you want to make this problem as a constraint problem, so constraint problem may have a objective function. Hai. Wo minimize objective function, humne dekh liya. that is minimize Z. And there were different generic costs related to your logistics, aapki logistics are related thi. Now, if it is constrained, constrained means ke you have to comply with these constraints. Constraint problem hogi, aapki kuch capacity hai, aapki warehouse ki capacity ho sakti hai, aapki plant ki capacity ho sakti hai, aapki plant requirements ho sakti hai, aapki lead times ho sakti hai, un sab ko bhi meet karna hai, usse zyada nahi ho sakta, ya usse kam nahi ho sakta. That means you have constraints with you. If you can remember, a linear programming models. So linear programming models be a generic model hai, jo ke logistics may use kiya ja sakte hai. So you have one objective function which would be of either maximizing or minimizing and then you have some constraints for it. So here the constraints jo humare paas problem hai, jo ke wohi cost function par base kar rahi hai, to the cost function would be obviously be minimized by an organization. Subject to Subject to first of all the Jojo cost just sequence me thi usi cost sequence me constraints de diye gaye for the ease of understanding. Vendor supply to all plants should be less than equal to the vendor capacity. This would be the first constraint. Then plant supply to all warehouses should be less than equal to the plant capacity. The second constraint. Warehouse supply to plant customers should be less than or equal to the warehouse capacity. Aapne jo kuch supply kiya hai customers ko, wo aapki warehouse capacity se zyada nahi ho sakta. The third constraint. Your transportation between points should be less than or equal to the carrier capacity that is weight and the volume. Aapke jo carrier ki capacity hai in terms of weight and volume, it cannot exceed the transportation between points. Jitni aap apne jo cargo hai, kitna bhej rahe hai. Wo zyada nahi ho sakta, uski capacity se, in terms of weight and volume. Then, 
the vendor plant or warehouse can supply only if open receipts from vendor should be greater than equal to the plant requirement jo plant ki requirements hai usse zyada hoga agar aapki jo receipts hai vendor se to then you can only be so that would be the fourth constraint a fifth constraint in which you have the plant requirement to plant requirement se zyada agar aap hasil kar rahe hain receipts mean if you are getting more than your plant requirements then it is actually a feasible thing receipts from plant or vendors should be greater than your warehouse requirements as well to aapke vendors se ya aapki manufacturing plant se jo kuch aapko mil raha hai wo aapki warehouse ki requirement se zyada ho ye in terms of monetary terms mein bhi baat ho sakti hai is constraint pe ye jo fifth or sixth constraint then receipts from warehouse is plants or vendors should be greater than the customer requirements customer ki requirements se zyada ho jo kuch receipt ho rahi hai aapki jo aapko mil raha hai revenue from your warehouse is plants or vendors that would be the seventh constraint time for order processing and transportation should be less than equal to the acceptable lead time jitna acceptable lead time ya targeted lead time diya gaya hai aapka jo processing time hai ek order ka including your transportation should be less than that your demand exceeding inventory should be less than equal to the acceptable stock out level yani agar aapka stock out level jo hai acceptable wo 5% hai to your demand exceeding inventory cannot be more than 5% that is the ninth constraint and your conservation of flow at any point in bound should be equal to your outbound plus usage के बराबर होना चाहिए दैट वुड बी योर टेंथ कंस्टेंट इसके अलावा भी आप कंस्टेंट एड करते हैं विच आर दी नॉन नेगेटिविटी एंड इंटेग्रलिटी कंस्टेंट इंटीग्रल इंटीजर होना चाहिए नंबर एंड यू वुड हैव सम नॉन नेगेटिव नंबर्स सो एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपेंस वी हैव सीन अ जर्नलाइज लॉजिस्टिक मॉडल एक एक जेनेरिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन उसकी मैंने कर दी आपके सामने कि यू वुड हैव सम वेयर हाउस ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट एक बड़ा बिल्कुल छोटा सा मॉडल था जो कि वेयर हाउसिंग ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट को फॉर इंस्टेंस डिपेक्ट कर रहा था तो व्हाट यू डू यू एक्चुअली इनकॉपरेट द इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर एग्जांपल देयर वाज अ फैक्टर 20 दियर डिमांड लेट से 60 परसेंट तो इट रेज टू दावर जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स आपके पास मौजूद थी डिमांड रेट आपको चाहिए था आपको अपने पास उसके अंदर जो वैल्यूज चाहिए वो मौजूद थी तो इट वॉज अ स्मॉल मॉडल अनकंस्ट्रेंट था देन वी एक्चुअली सॉ अ मॉडल जेनेरिक मॉडल स्टिल अ जेनेरिक मॉडल इन विच यू आर मिनिमाइजिंग योर टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक्स और उसके अंदर जो कॉस्ट थी वो एक कॉमन कॉस्ट थी जो कि एक बिजनेस इनकर करता है एंड इट कुड बी सब्जेक्ट टू सम कंस्ट्रेंट्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स वो कंस्ट्रेंट्स यू नीड टू फॉलो द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अ कंस्ट्रेंट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम और उसके अंदर आप नॉन नेगेटिविटी कंस्ट्रेंट्स और इंटीजर अगर किसी को रखना है तो वो इंटेग्रिटी कंस्ट्रेंट्स भी शामिल करेंगे लेकिन Uh, you we have seen that uh, there could be many constraints but still that size of this problem is not that high uh, they can these type of problems can easily be handled by a generic software softwares are available jo ke standardized softwares and they can provide a solution to such kind of generalized models thank you